This is the Ryan Podcast for Tuesday, July 24th, in the year of our Lord, 2018. Or whatever day you are listening to this, uh, we welcome you. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> you know what? I uh, Maybe I had too much coffee, but I feel like I've crashed out. You think like, so? My, my brain is just like, what? Did you have extra or your normal amount? Um, pretty much the same amount as always, but I feel like my brain is fried. Did you work out this morning? Yeah. Did you? Well... It just, it's know. a Tuesday. You know, it's sometimes fine. this happens. It's fine. Uh, I got to, we got to get, get back, back in on the game. Track. Come on. Today in the podcast, we talk about Chick fil A's meal box service. And then we have a little meal box of our own from Phil. He's in Delaware and he sent us rat burger buns. <laughs> You'll learn more about that when you listen to the podcast. <laughs> uh, we also talk about being liked, nudity in judgment free zones, Samsung's TV that can finally satisfy our needs, and a few other things sprinkled in there. So you guys enjoy the podcast. I'm going to get some more coffee. No, have a great- you're good. You're no. Good. No, we have that meeting. You oh. think I'm going into that meeting with no coffee? It won't be oh. too long. It's just a manual uh, meeting, and then uh, we're having pizza after. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear what he said? <laughs> it should be too long. It won't be that long. Do you know what that means? That right there is the death t- no of like it is just like hey everybody's going to be in this room till they die that's how long that meeting's going to be because everybody that's had anything that they've been saving up and thinking about talking about is going it's coming in out meeting. in that meeting maybe we will or will not see you tomorrow we'll still be in the meeting, the meeting. believe it Have actually our, our show tomorrow is our excuse to get out of the meeting we'll finally be free yeah well you guys enjoy bye thanks bye bye What's worse than finding grounds in your coffee? Finding grounds in your coffee while listening to the riot. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. If you missed it yesterday, we did a riot control in which there was much discussion regarding the Apple TV 4K. Yeah. uh, Which I recently acquired as recently as Saturday and have spent a little bit of time playing with it. Obviously, there's a lifetime relationship that... (laughs) Is being, you know, it's in its early stages. Sure, but you finally got one to uh, what you would hope utilize some of the good 4K deals. Yeah, and that's what that I want. Have. That's what I want to talk about today, Nikki. There's a new storefront in town, and there's just so much in it. And they, I don't understand. It must be part of their strategy, but iTunes is so cheap. Yeah, like their movies are. So, 4K movies. Uh, even, Are you okay, saying that? Well, I see it depends on. All right, because I'm okay, not. I'm not going to agree with you that across the board on like new releases. No, that is true. That it's not like if you go for new releases, you're going to pay. Well, okay, but One even might that. Use the term is it out the nose? Uh, about twenty bucks <laughs> yes. is what you can expect to pay. But yes, if in 4K they're charging you twenty dollars for a 4K movie that you would pay thirty or thirty five for somewhere else. But it's the older but, movies. Yes, the older movies they have amazing sales they have amazing rental sales and i've just i every day i haven't i'm not saying i'm buying anything i haven't bought bought anything i did buy something on friday yeah i bought mission impossible rogue nation on friday for five dollars and it was so worth it so worth it uh but that being said (laughs) yeah um yeah, like here I am today. Here are their 10 movie bundles so, that they're like, so, here, take a look at these bundles. What you need to do is not go there every day. I'm um, sorry, what? You're why bre- are you you're, look- break- why- you're breaking up. I know, it's a bad I think connection. I'm going through a tunnel. Why are I think you- I'm going through a tunnel. <laughs> I can't you- hear you. Why are you looking at the site today? Uh, is I that mean, just become like the list of the daily sites you check? And so now is, you're checking it. I mean, it, it is now. It, it is now. <laughs> it's, like, in the, it's in the list. What are you doing that's so much better? No, I just, if you don't want to spend all the money on all the movies, because again, these are movies you own. You're, Not, no, a lot of them I don't. You didn't own Rogue Nation? Uh, okay, that one I owned. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. But it was just... You know, it's $5. It's fine. And you just wanted the 4K version. I wanted to get the 4K version. All right. Now I we're needed, on the same page. And I had just got an Apple TV, so I needed to know the process. Sure, you needed to buy something. How it all worked. I had to get it okay. set up. So, I mean. All right. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to, we'll just close this out here. Click. <laughs> no more temptation. Click. No problem, guys. What I found is at Blu-ray.com, you can go to their iTunes section and their 4K section. You can sort by price and you oh, just do that every gosh, morning. Oh, gosh. There you go. What? Now it's even easier. 
Oh, it's only there's, cost. They're yeah. sorting the list for you. Oh, yeah. Now it's just a couple clicks. Oh, so you can just, it's a quick glance. Quick glance. Well, click then glance. you would feel bad if you missed out on a deal. That's why I'm here, Nikki. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Make sure that no deals go. That unmissed or yeah. missed. <laughs> I need more digital movies I can't watch. If Nikki sounds a little bored this morning, it's because Obadiah is still talking. Too much talking, too much talking. It's the riot on Radio U. Talking. I want to say hi to Alan. He was texting this morning, and it's really great to know that, you know. Did you disappoint him? Yeah. He says, (laughs) well, that was disappointing. Was waiting for your keys to be tied into a news article or something, as most of the randomness is, but nope. It was just, I have too many keys. Aw, sometimes, Alan, it's just, it is what it is. Well, I just love the fact that I can just disappoint somebody, like, boom. Like, <laughs> That's the joy of the show. You didn't yeah. even realize when you were doing it. And then Derek, he says, I wonder if they have RoboCop in 4K. Ooh, morning, Derek, Derek, don't enable. You know don't what? enable Obi. I don't think I need uh, RoboCop in 4K. You I can say I'm no good. to that? Yeah, I do. But like, What if they, it was like 99 cents? Well, I'm not saying no to that. But I mean, it's almost like they're paying you. Yeah, I mean, at 99 cents, like, you, uh, you're not saying no to that. Guys, let's not uh, cause more problems, okay? You know what I would like? What? I would like for this to turn into a judgment free zone. <laughs> what, just like this guy? I wish <laughs> that this studio could become a judgment free zone, but instead, it's not just Nikki judging me now. I got people texting and judging me. So thanks a lot, pal. <laughs> If you don't know, Planet Fitness is supposed to be. That's their slogan. That's yeah. their thing. Judgment-free Judgment zone. So you can go and you work out. It, there's a lot of locations. It's pretty well known. I worked out there once, mm-hmm. and I thought it was fine. I like There were things they didn't have that I wanted, but they also had, oh, dude, you could run for days and never see the same treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> actually had a lot of equipment so many treadmills and at the time the gym i was in had eight treadmills Mm. and you were like on a waiting list and people would give you the stink eye if you were on for like more than 10 minutes and so when i walked in there wow that's that free part there this is incredible (laughs) but this guy um realized that the wrong way yeah he did we've got eric uh, he was uh, working out at in a place down New Hampshire. That's a city. And he was at Planet Fitness. And he started doing naked yoga like you do. Like one does when like one works you out. You do naked yoga. You know why, Nikki? Because yoga is about freedom. <laughs> it's about connecting with the earth. And as a result, I don't understand how you can do that with your clothes on. The problem is he was undressing as he started to work out. So, like, he didn't just come in and was like, well, I'm doing naked yoga. Um, he started fully clothed, then just started started taking them off. Well, that's because as he was becoming more mm-hmm. connected with the earth, he was becoming freer. And so as you become free, all of a sudden you don't feel the oppression of pants like you did at one time. (laughs) Yeah, the things that bother you. So the police came and arrested him. He was like, what? This is a judgment-free zone. He left the clothes and his belongings at the front desk, walked back and forth across the gym, and then went over to the yoga mats. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. So the police arrested him. He got arrested for indecent exposure and lewdness. Oh, and disorderly conduct. So I guess when Planet Fitness says judgment free zone, they only kind of mean it. Well, because they, they there's judged still him. the laws of the land. So and that so, is uh, indecency. So it's a lie then. Well, I mean, it's just something you say. We've all decided we're supposed to be clothed. So <laughs> that's not anything new. It's just something you say. <laughs> no, it's just he's got to keep his clothes on. Planet Fitness, though. Like, did you ever go for Pizza Tuesday or whatever? It was there a couple of times. Yeah, did you uh, eat it? No. Because, I mean, you still feel weird. You feel like it's a trap. Like, you're going to go over for pizza and they're going to slam the box on your hand or something. But I know they're like, no, you're welcome to have some free. Let's all have it. But you really did feel like you were being uh, lured into something. Good Lord, pizza sounds good. I could eat it right now. (laughs) Leftovers from the most disgusting meal you've ever had. (laughs) It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. You know, it's Shark Week, Nikki. Is it actually, or is is that come later? No, it's Shark Week. Please On Discovery please Channel? Please tell me I'm not getting it wrong. It's right. It, it's Shark Week, right? Uh, let's it see. It says tonight at 8 o'clock, Shark Week. Shark Week. Maybe it does start. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. Okay, okay we'll go with it. Well, what I was going to tell you, Nick, is I feel like you and I have fallen off the shark boat a little bit <gasps> into the water. No, but 
August is going to be a big shark month for us, and I want you and I to make sure that going into August that we're focused. Okay, what do we need to focus about? Well, first off, the final Sharknado film is going to be out in August. Mm. That's happening on August 19th, and it involves time travel. Oh, that's even worse. You didn't think it'd be that. It does seem like this is the 30th anniversary of Shark Week, by the way. Is that true? Uh, So it goes from the 22nd to this Sunday, the 29th. Well, have you, when do you, would you say you fell off? Year two? Shark Week? Um, probably five, you probably, six years ago. Yeah. Like, uh, well, then uh-huh. I started realizing, boy, they recycle a lot of the stuff. And then like nothing truly bad has happened with all the um, celebrities that they bring in and they could try to create oh, drama. Like, wait, the one I saw from yesterday was like Shaq was in a shark. Yeah, uh, yeah he was in a shark cage. In the, shark cage, And yeah. they're like, oh, my gosh, the shark got in the shark cage. The, the article made it seem like he broke the cage and got in. When I looked at the, the clip of it, the shark is literally like two feet long. It's. <laughs> smaller than his head and it was like wow he he actually just swim through the 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 gate or the cage because he was small enough to do that Uh, so it's just a little bit too much for what you're actually getting just one of those things yeah it's all right okay so there's that and then there's last sharknado august 19th Mm -hmm. but then hello what do we have here but the meg (sighs) The we, Jason Statham really bad looking movie. August 10th. <laughs> I think we need to go see that. I really I, I think want we to do. see it. I think In we do. In fact, I like I started out wanting to see it ironically, and I think I've crossed over. Really? <laughs> I think I'm I, still in the ironic category. I, I mean, let's make no mistake, <laughs> I'm going there to mock it and make fun of it. So sure. maybe that makes it an ironic viewing. But I saw a poster the other day and I was like, yes! I have so <laughs> That seems like a, a, I am so going to watch that movie. It looks so stupid. We haven't had a really good shark movie that's been in theaters in quite some time, I feel, uh, that's been a good one. Oh. This one seems like you've got a big budget and a bad storyline. Terrible. And that's what we like. And you've got recognizable action star Jason mm-hmm. Statham. And did you see the tagline? It's so good. I haven't seen it yet. Pleased to eat you. Oh, oh no. See, that's what we come to the movies for. Dude, I'm in. We ha- we have to. Yeah, like but we... I'm only paying $5 to see it, so we're going to wait till a Tuesday. I'm okay. not paying full price to see that movie. I'll be honest with you, Nikki. That Friday, I might be busting out my movie no, pass. Well, I don't have movie pass, so maybe you'll have to we, see it. We might need to make some arrangements. Okay, I'll see what I can do. We need to see that movie, dude. The Meg. Pleased to eat you. And then that's the same, like, the very next week, you there's Sharknado. The, you go in wearing your swimwear or something. It's like, the, that's the cosplay. Perfect. Show <laughs> like, up, like, you're what the flip-flops. What are you guys here to see? Well, I don't know. No, what do you think? <laughs> that's our, you know what I mean, the uh, flippers. Yeah, the beach towel and everything and snorkel a, stuff. And we've got uh, prescription goggles so that we can wear the goggles through the whole movie. So we can still see? Perfect. Nikki and Obadiah. Obadiah and Nikki. Love, hate, hate, love. All right, everyone in, let's go. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Now, that position of short order cook we were talking about earlier, they have to be able to not only perfectly recreate Chick-fil-A, including the waffle fries, but I'm also going to need them to be able to recreate Chick-fil-A sauce. Perhaps even going to the restaurant to buy a bottle. Yeah, and then that's that's just, again, part of the position. And I'm going to need that at a moment's notice. So if you're a fan of Chick-fil-A, this was kind of weird. But it is the, weird. The more you process it, I guess it could make sense. So it goes like this. If you've never heard of a mealtime kit, it's basically whether something you sign up for online or a place where you go pick something up, you get a little box that has essentially everything you would need to create a meal in it. So mm-hmm. all the ingredients instructions on creating the meal, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure you've seen ads for the many of companies on Facebook and social media and received many coupons as well for a free box. If you listen to any podcast, (laughs) you can give you a free box. It's constant. Uh, So Chick-fil-A is getting into that business, but only in Atlanta, Georgia. They're They're testing it. They're running a test. It's running August something through November something at about 150 locations. They will have a rotating 
meal plan. So basically, like you don't sign up for anything. You just go in and buy a box. A box will be fifteen eighty nine for two and, people. For two people, and depending on the day, will depend on what meal is available. So it will either be chicken parmesan, chicken enchiladas, Dijon chicken. Pan roasted chicken or chicken flatbread. Basically, it's using their chicken, but yes. then giving you other ingredients. So it's not like a Chick fil A menu item that you're going to be making. And I think it's no subscription, no advanced things. Correct. If they have it, they have it. And it'll be at 150 Chick fil A Atlanta restaurants starting August 27th. So the idea here, uh, they talked to like the institutional advancement guy or whatever his name is there at Chick fil A, and he said, you got to think about it like this. You go to Chick-fil-A for lunch, and while you're there for lunch, you basically pick up dinner. Yeah. And maybe maybe this is what you have for dinner tonight or a couple of nights from now. But basically, it's there's actually something genius about it. They are trying to get you to buy two meals on one visit. Think about that. They know you're not going to come back to Chick-fil-A for dinner. And they know, with the exception of people like me, you're not like, I'll have a chicken sandwich for lunch and dinner. I'm fine <laughs> with that. it might be too much. I'm fine with that. So you've got chicken, but they're giving you a different kind I of chicken. chicken. It's, it's genius. It's interesting. To me, though, if I went at lunch, I, like, I wouldn't have a place to store the items uh, well, kind of easily. But if you brought like a little... Uh, freezer bag or something or this is what i would think i'd be traveling in the afternoon to get a snack go through the drive through you pick up your dinner of this if you uh, were wanting something a little bit more involved i will tell you that the chick-fil-a cookie their chocolate chip cookies that's something that is something to write home about so then what you do is you follow the recipe just like every other meal kit and uh it takes about a half hour they say to make the food i'm curious about it though i will say at the end of the day i'd rather they just hand me that chicken sandwich and fries they're, they're they're confusing us we would be just fine having chicken again yeah well and you are but it's a little different and fifteen eighty nine for two people, that's about seven, eight bucks a piece. That's, that's about on average. Well, it's not bad. You're hearing it for the first time, and it sounds terrible. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Are you ready? Are you ready to hear one of the worst things that you could ever hear? Yes. Are you ready? I, I want to know what, what this is about. Snake wine. Snake wine? Oh, the, the liquor where they put the snake in it. I don't know. You've seen that before. I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 something. Snake wine. No, but like in the blood, they well, can put their blood or the venom. It's something like that. They do. I don't even know what. The, okay, she checked her daughter's. She would. She said she was going to use the poisonous snake to make wine. Mm-hmm. Um. What? Oh, yeah, that is what they, they do. They put the snake in the wine and let it sit there and stuff yeah it's dead by the way yeah it's dead and it just soaks in there and then you drink the wine or i've seen it where they'll put the blood in the whatever liquor you're using Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're not gonna have that it's gross yes yes which is why i said it's one of the most objectionable things imaginable it's the worst like the idea not only do i hate snakes but the idea that you want me to drink something that a snake's in one or two, you want me to drink like, hey, it's just snake blood. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. Hang on. What? Oh, what? Oh, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll the, do it later. You know They're calling for me. I'm going to be right back. Well, this in, is a sad uh, story because... Uh, it is a sad story. The I don't lady wanna, dies. I don't want to make light of it, but I didn't even... I mean, maybe at some point in my life, I knew it was a thing and I blocked it out. Mm-hmm. And my, my brain was like, no, we can't live in a world where this is real. I think this uh, type of drink is more popu- uh, popular in different cultures. <sighs> Not, I don't not want to ours. be a part of that culture right now. Well, and yeah, you know what? This is the sound of me judging an entire... I'm judging. <laughs> I am judging right now. And we were trying to establish a judgment-free zone in this room today. But here I am judging. Oh, he gosh. He just doesn't understand. I am a hypocrite. But this lady had uh, purchased a snake online yes. to be delivered to then use it to make... Uh, snake wine. Snake wine, but the snake, did it bite her or something? Yes, it and, did. And it ended up killing her. It ended up killing her. She went to the hospital. They administered the antivenom. But it, it wasn't didn't enough. work, and it ended up killing her. And, you know, that's sad part of the story, obviously. And it, I'm real, I swear I'm not making light when I say this. It just goes to show you, like, maybe there are some things you shouldn't make. I... You know? That's like, all he has to say. I don't want a non-poisonous snake alone, around, let alone... Mail, mail ordering 
Well, a poisonous snake? Maybe they're not like local in that area, and that's how she could get it to make the wine. Why does it have to be a poisonous one? Couldn't you just do a garden snake or a, a lighter, smaller variety? Uh, I guess the venom must be something, something, something with something, it, or yeah. the the thrill of it, or something. Hey, look, isn't wine gross enough already? It's basically rotten grapes. Isn't that gross enough? Like, at least you're having rotten fruit. I'll take some rotten fruit, sure. I'll take rotten fruit over the rotting flesh of a venomous snake in my rotten fruit. In the poor thing. I mean, I don't want to get weird about it, but let's break it down. Well, when you break things down, if we broke a lot of stuff down. I know. When we took a step back, you're like, what are we doing? So that was a very sad story. But then also, yes, you're right. Uh, snake wine sounds and is a weird thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm out. I'm off. I'm done. Think Obadiah owns too many video games? Get us out of here. Roger that. Well, maybe you'll think differently when... Okay, you're right. There's no conceivable scenario where anyone needs that many. The Riot on Radio U. Now, a couple of weeks ago... We, we talked about we talked about a Burger King in Delaware, yeah, where they found rats in the buns. Um, basically, a video went viral, much to Burger King's dismay, <laughs> of behind where you sometimes restaurants will store the food and stuff. Like uh-huh. if it's being delivered or loaded in, there were stacks of the hamburger buns, and there were rats that were filmed in the buns themselves, inside the bag with the buns. So the Burger King got in trouble, but then Burger. Burger King was like, yeah, they're Burger King, but they're not really Burger King. Franchise. Like, it was just really weird. And then that was kind of it for the story. Now, Nikki, enter Phil. Phil. Phil is a riot <laughs> listener. He's from Akron, but he now lives in the state of Delaware. Delaware yeah. Phil's on the phone right now. Hi, Phil. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? All right. Good. So, Phil, what I the heck did... I have a box we, from Phil. We have a box from you. What on this earth did you send us? <laughs> I sent you, um, well, first I went to Burger King and ordered a spicy chicken sandwich and a Whopper and then uh, took those home and put them on bread that I knew rats were not dancing in and sent you the bun. Yeah, so these are the, from the actual Burger King that got in trouble? Yes, so when you... I heard Delaware, I looked it up, and it was just a few miles down the road from me. Well, you have to understand, when I open up the box, like, there's other goodies in there, yeah, and I was like, is. oh, it's some Tasty Cake stuff. I was like, oh, that looks good, and there's a, a Wawa receipt. I was like, yay, Wawa, and then I'm like, why are, I thought they were pancakes at first. I was like, <laughs> why did he send us? But they're hamburger buns. No. Phil, have you eaten a bun from there since this happened? Or did you ever go there before? Uh, I may have been there before, but I've not eaten an, eaten a burger uh, bun since then. Uh, like I said, I took it home and put my own uh, bread slices on it just because I knew they were safe. Well, so, I'm sure, though, that after such a drama with that location, it's probably the cleanest. You would think it'd be the cleanest it's ever been, right? I like don't Like they force it to clean its act up. Now, Phil, do you ever drive past it? Like, do people still eat there? Um, I drive past it maybe once a month. Yeah. So I... I haven't paid that much attention. Okay. All right. Well, Dude, Nikki, people sometimes don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Just, they're like, well, we're going. Well, here's the question, Nikki. With the buns in hand, would you eat one? I don't know. I mean, it's not from the packet. Like with the rats, it was after. So they must be taking care of it more, don't yeah, you I mean, think? You think so? You, you don't would know. think? Are you going to eat one? Phil, what do you think? Like, <laughs> do we? should we try these buns and can see we if get, we live? Can we get Chris to come in and try one? <laughs> Zach, are you here yet? You want to try one? <laughs> I, you know what? I will eat one. You want to take a bite? I'm not going to eat a whole one, but I'll take a bite of one. Are sure. you going to eat now? Or yeah, let's do it. Whatever. With Phil on the phone? Now, Phil, I have your number, so if I die, <laughs> like, we'll I know. Make no, I make no claims of responsibility. No, well, okay, wait. The other thing, how long ago did you get these buns? It's Tuesday. Uh, about a week ago. About a week ago. Uh, it's uh, been in the... You are eating it. Yep. I mean, it's been in the mail and everything. Burger King rat buns. You ate it. Yeah, I did. Yay. You know what? Tastes just fine, right? It's sad that this is a week old and it just tastes like... I mean, we could have picked this up at Burger King right now. It's honestly like the McDonald's fry thing where they talk about, like, if you see one in your car and you're like, years later, it tastes and looks still the it's same. same. <laughs> No big deal. Well, Phil, can I say thank you so much for thinking of us? And then when you're so close, going uh, the extra mile and going and getting the hamburger buns from the Burger King that had the rat problem.
And I hope you like the Tasty Cakes yeah, better. Yeah, those look okay. good. You want so one of those, tell, Ellie? Tell us about the Tasty Cakes. What do we got here? There's a Crimpets. I remember, or I think I remembered Obi saying he liked the Little Debbie uh, chocolate cupcake things. Yeah. And so I saw a Tasty Cake version of that. They're very popular in the... Um, Philadelphia area. Yeah. Uh, I think Little Debbie's are better, but that's uh, popular here. <laughs> that's what you, you get. Like Wawa, I thought I'd send you that. And then I think the other things look essentially like they're Twinkies with uh, additional frosting on the Basically. top. Basically. So I figured you... I figured you wouldn't complain about those. Either. No one. No. But I will say, Phil and Obi, if you're going to have any, it looks like these have sweated so much. Like there's <laughs> condensation inside the packaging. Hey. They're they're just just a little worried. There's a heat wave across the nation, Nikki. <laughs> they're fine though. I bet. It's no big deal. Aw, well, thank you I for sending it those. Being that the tasty cakes may have suffered more than the Burger King the buns. The hamburger buns, Dude, yeah. those, man, those Burger King buns, you could send those through Chernobyl. They'd be fine. <laughs> They'd be better than Just ever. like, whatever. It's uh, cool. Can I say again, I love seeing the Wawa's receipts. I, I wish it. we had a Wawa's here. Well, Phil, thank you so much for hanging Yay. out with us this morning and for sending us a package. All right. All right, man. Hang on. <laughs> hang tight. Are you, you want a tasty cake? You can just have sure. it this morning if you sure, want. Sure, why not? And then, again, if any Radio U staff members from the Delaware Burger King location, the what? what's, uh, I shouldn't say Delaware just in case there's another, <laughs> Wilmington, Delaware, uh, Concord Pike Burger King location where they had the problem uh, some time ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got hamburger buns from there. Yeah, we do. <laughs> And it's in your stomach now, too. I hate it. I'm like a rat now. Yay. <laughs> I love being a rat. I feel so good. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, it's no big deal. I mean, if you guys hear about uh, someone violently vomiting at the gym <laughs> later today, that's not me. And if anything, we could always have worst of Riot tomorrow if you can't make it in. Perfect. <laughs> your morning, but without yelling, laughing, or music. Don't deprive me of that. We wouldn't dream of it. It's the Riot on Radio U. I don't want to mention any names. But I've got a friend, person in my life that does, I can think of two things offhand that they do that drive me insane. Now, most of you will be like, well, he's making a Nikki joke right now. (laughs) I don't think it's me because he wouldn't say the two things in front of my face. Well, I'm not going to say what they are. Uh, I actually don't want to say what they are because I don't want to uh, indict anyone on their behavior. Uh, but, you know, it was funny uh, when I was I was with this person and they did one of the things and I was like, oh, and I had this funny moment where I was just like, you know what? You could work hard to get them to stop doing that, to change whatever, or you can laugh about it and let it be almost endearing. Because here's the thing about people is that that seems like a hard one but well it kind (laughs) of is but but we're all there right like don't each and every one of us have little ticks little characteristics little things and i know when we live together and we you know work together or whatever some of that stuff we need to work out like i try not to lick my fingers when nikki's around she hates it i appreciate that sometimes i forget but in general that's something i've learned that drives nikki crazy i'm not going to do that uh, but, you know, okay, like I was looking, I rip holes in my sweaters, sweatshirts. It's the worst. I can't keep a long sleeve shirt to save my life. And the elbows. My, my elbows are crooked. I put these holes in them. And it's one of those things where I could either get mad at that or be like, oh, Lobadiah, he's crooked arms putting holes in them sweatshirts again. You know, and I, I, a lot of life I feel like is like that. But, you know, I, I want you to know that God looks at you that way. I, I know there are people in your life that you've got little ticks, You've got little things you do, stuff that drives people crazy. And after a while, we can start to feel like, well, I'm not, a, I'm not as good of a person as so-and-so is because I do this. I'm not as good as a, a person as somebody else is because, look, my, my arm is crooked. No, real talk, it is. Uh, but, I mean, like, whatever it is, you've got this thing about you where you're like, hey— For some reason, I'm not as good as somebody else. Do you know that God even laughs and chuckles at some of your little tics and stuff? And I think, one, that we can do that to other people. I think instead of uh, constantly being annoyed with people, we can just be like, no, no, that's just the way they are. It's all right. Uh, I think there's some room for that, and I think God feels that way about us. I think a lot of the things that about yourself that you're embarrassed of or you hate or whatever, he looks at those through rose-colored glasses. He loves you so much that he's like, oh, huh. all right. And I'm not talking about destructive things, things where you're ruining your life or you're hurting other people. I'm talking about the little ticks, 
the little things that make us us that so often we don't like or we don't like them in other people. God loves you. And let me take it one step farther. He likes you. God likes you. He likes to be where you are. He wants to have a relationship with you. And here's what you're going to find out. If you think God likes you, wait till you get to know him. Now, there's a likable guy. If you don't have a relationship with God, you should really, really look into who Jesus is and what he's about or invite him in right now and say, Jesus, I want that. I want you to come into my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. I want to know what your love is all about. Help me to love myself, love others, to know what you're about. And man, God's got a whole different way of doing things. He's going to help you accept you, accept the other people in your life. And man, seriously, love yourself and love others. That's a pretty great thing. Hey, you've got to hand it to Obadiah and Nikki. Anyone can eat junk food all day. Where's my food? But they've figured out a way to get paid for it. The Riot on Radio U. Who doesn't want to go hiking on the Appalachian Trail? I don't. Oh, okay. I do not want... Well, I wasn't, you know what? I wasn't expecting to see this many hands. It depends on, like... I see that hand, sir. How long I is it? You. Uh, I see you. It, you know... Are we, do you have to camp and stay on forever. the trail? It's or? like forever. People do this. It's a very well-known uh, trek. The trail is 2,200 miles. Mm-hmm. And it's... I'm sorry, what? Excuse me, what? That's a long car ride. <laughs> Excuse me, huh? What? What? Yeah, 2,200 miles. Um, and Andrea Pincum, she's of... Now, wait a minute. Is she from the UK? Uh you know what? No, I guess not. Uh, it was somebody else that was from the UK. But anyway, she was out hiking. Um, on and the Appalachian Trail. On the Appalachian Trail. And she had to call for assistance, uh, let's see, on July 5th. I don't know exactly what happened to her on July 5th that she needed help with. But she realized she didn't want to be there anymore yeah. and you're stuck. Well, she was stuck. Yeah. And rescuers came out and they helped her and all that stuff. And then she went back to her hike. On the Appalachian Trail. Well, why would you go back if you needed help? Um, maybe she was just stuck in like a bad place. I don't know. Emotionally or physically? No, physically. I so, see. To me, the Appalachian Trail would be more of an emotional battle. <laughs> <laughs> just to see, like, why am I doing this? Well, Nikki, sometimes emotional battles can lead to true a physical, physical battles battle. and vice versa. You know, we're a whole person, yeah. all right, and our emotions and our physical nature—they both are affected. Uh, But she, after being rescued once, also needed rescued again yesterday. Now, stop it then. (laughs) If it's not working out, you're going to have to call it. That's not a defeat thing. It's just you're not ready yet. (laughs) This is people's jobs and time and stuff. Stop wasting it. Hey, guys. It's, it's Andrea me. again. It's me again. You have my I, information. I know that uh, I called a couple weeks ago. but I'm, I'm still on the trail. I'm back on the trail, and I got a real problem. But they're not saying what the problem was? In this particular case, they are. Severe illness. So I don't know what, but I will tell you this. When you see her, it's like they have photos of her laying in a sleeping bag, and like she for real, you're like, I thought at first, and I'm not making this up, I thought it was a dummy. You know how it looks like when they're like, hey, this is the CPR dummy. You get yeah. down and push it. That's what she looks like. Aww. So she must be incredibly sick. Yeah, maybe she got uh, ate something she wasn't supposed to or you I don't know, know. you're exhausted. I don't know. But they had to come in and put her in a stretcher and carry her out. Now she's out, right? She's, she's not out. going back. If she goes back, well, maybe it's a buy two, get one free. You know, you get rescued the second time and third one's on them. I have a punch card. You guys have that? Okay, here you go. Yeah, just well, right not there. Like I, I shouldn't be saying anything because then I'd have to be rescued too. Well, it is just that thing where you're like, when you're rescued the second time, I feel like at that point, it's time to quit. Yeah, you apologize. You just go go home and try again another year. But then again, you know, people that are out there hiking, they're like, no, we don't give up. Other people, you know, Abraham Lincoln ran for office like 14 <laughs> times before he got elected. I will finish Did you this know trail. that? He kept going and look at him. He got shot in office. Bad example. He was elected president. That's what I mean. So I'm going to make it. Uh, you got to, yes, if that was your goal, it'd be very hard to quit because you feel like, you know, you were giving up, uh, but it might just be not the right time for you. Yeah. Well, she I, she's in the hospital now, so she's at least taking a little break and then we'll just see where it goes from there. Wow. Going so. hiking sounds interesting. If yeah, it was like, flat, I could do it. What and, do you think? Like two, three miles? Yeah, that'd be good. Like an hour. 
Yeah. If we just take an hour oh, yeah. trek out, uh, that way you don't. I don't want to carry anything. I feel like our hike is their walk, though. Probably. That's what I'm feeling. Want to go for a hike? It's a walk, really. As long as it was a loop, too. <laughs> so then I just end up back at the car. So what do you, I, <laughs> I don't want to out and back. Come to think of it, Nikki, I think uh, if we just walked around the parking lot a little bit, I, I mean, that's, probably, that's enough exercise, I feel like. I'd probably take care of it. <laughs> well, I'm glad she's safe, at least. She is, now that she's been rescued again. Turn it up loud enough, and your neighbors will call the cops. Because it's obviously a cry for help. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Okay, guys. A lot of people want to judge me. I'm not going to mention any names, Nikki, but people <laughs> like to judge. <laughs> for what? <laughs> well, you know what? Uh... You go from a TV that's reasonable to a 70-inch TV. Sure. And you know what? One of these days, that's going to be a little too small. I'm going to need something a little bigger, okay? Because as I age and my eyes need, you know, I'm getting thicker glasses and all that stuff, I might need Grandpa's image needs to get a little bit bigger over there. Well, plus the price just goes down to where what you're normally spending for a certain size will be the what you spend normally for the larger size in the future. Can we see a show of hands? People who paid $400 for a 70-inch TV? Wait. If you would not have bought that, Obadiah, I mean... I see that hand. That was a smart purchase. Obadiah, I see that hand. <laughs> So, my 70-inch TV, that's so wonderful. You love that thing. I really do. You're not supposed to love things. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I like and it a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. But then, you know how it is. You finally get a girlfriend, and you think she's so beautiful and whatever, and then <sighs> that new girl comes to school, and you're like, man, my girlfriend's so ugly. I need someone who looks like her. Did you find another TV? 146 inches. Oh, now that that's a big well, jump. That'll that's get a your big attention. jump. I don't that'll think you'll get your attention. I don't think you have the wall space for it. Oh, Nikki. You have to have I, the room. You have it. better I expect more from you. Well, honestly. I know, but your 70 inch could be well, your basement, I guess. You could do that. Can you get it down there? Now we're talking about go oh, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Okay. We'll take the stairs out and, and the door. Lower and you, it down yeah. and then. I'll just build a small crane, several pulleys. We'll get it down there. Don't you worry yourself about <laughs> it, okay? So at CES this year, Samsung unveiled what they called the wall, a 146-inch 4K TV. Guess what they've announced? They're going to make them. They are? And they say they're not going to be as expensive as you think. Sometimes the companies will showcase large, large, large TVs, but uh-huh. they're like, well, it's not really in commercial production. And uh, only the super, can. the super rich could afford and usually someone who works there who gets it. But uh, right. outside of like everyday people, you don't. Now, they say it's not as expensive as we think it's going yeah, to be. Yeah, what's that going to cost then? Well, here's what I would like to do. Yeah. I would like us to take this statement. Not as expensive as you think it's going to be. And I would like to tell them that I think this TV is going to retail for about five hundred dollars. Because you paid four hundred, so. And since it's not as expensive as I think it's going to be, <laughs> then you can pay that. And do they have a price, or just they're just no. saying that so far? No. They probably be maybe what five or six thousand dollars. That would be my guess. Yeah, around that. They say they're going to mass produce it. Now I don't know how many that means. It's starting in September, and they will have a consumer version next year. So I assume like the ones they're making this fall will probably for be the for special com- people. Well, and probably for commercial interests, mm-hmm. like because you can see where as ridiculous as this may sound in a house because you lack vision and I'm disappointed but in you. Say you go to a hotel or a yep. restaurant or an office or something. It's it works better there. Right. And so they say the consumer models they'll start making next year. So and you know what? In about a year, I'll be. Tired of this stupid 70 inch little be ready old for TV. Something new. I need something twice as good. Here's what we suggest if you're looking for a TV go for yes, open boxes are a yeah, thing. Yeah, come on. But we're even more into no boxes. <laughs> Because it is cheaper usually if there's no box. And you don't have any box to throw away. Also it's true. Just bonus. Okay, they give you a lot of money off and you didn't need the box anyways. Actually, if you re- like even better than like a Best Buy open box, you got to go to Costco. Costco open they, box. They've like started hiding their open box TVs, but you'll find them. And go after like uh, a big sporting event when everybody who bought one for that event goes and returns them. That's basically how I've scored every time. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Worst of the Riot podcast. Oh, no! I missed it! Do it again! You can hear us live every day on the Radio U Network through the Radio U app or at riot.radiou.com. 
as you become free, all of a sudden you don't feel the oppression of pants. <laughs>